Indeed, that is the case, Bill. I can tell you that, uh, as you see behind me over my right shoulder, you can see some supplies. These people are over my left shoulder behind some black curtains. We wanted to give them some privacy, but behind me here, you have dozens of families, women, children, men who have been displaced from their homes. This is one of the shelters here in Beaumont. The other is over at the old Central High School. They're housing people inside of the gymnasium. And whether in these parts, whether you were displaced from your home or whether you are in ho your home tonight, you're just hoping for one thing, a good night's rest, because this has been one long, challenging day. Man, we're just trying to take care of our people. Trying to take care of our people, man. That was the mission in Beaumont today, navigate deep floodwaters any way possible to get residents underwater to dry land. Do you want to put her in the back? We rode with this man, Mario Alvarez, and his mega high pickup. We went through several miles of city blocks, some eerily desolate, others with evacuees carrying all they could handle. It's sad. It's just sad because it came unexpected and nobody expected it. The vast flooding had high water vehicles and boats scrambling. Coast Guard choppers also were brought in to assist. It's been tough. Tougher than Harvey? Way tougher than Harvey. Yet many of the images Houstonians saw two years ago during Harvey, we saw again today in Beaumont. The most impactful? Texans coming together to do what Texans do best. We don't, we don't, we don't, Take care we don't, we don't. of their own. We don't. That's the spirit of Texas there for you. Um, what is going on here now? I can tell you that obviously the people that are here in the shelter, they're going to get some food here in a few minutes. They're going to also try to get a good night's rest. What about the operations outside of here? Are they still trying to bring people into the shelters? They have suspended all operations until 730 tomorrow morning, unless it is a life-threatening situation. Then, of course, you'll have first responders go into some of those flooded neighborhoods, extract whoever's in that emergency situation, pull them out, and get them to the uh, proper assistance that they need. But, again, it's been a very long day, not only in the Houston area, but to the east of it here in Beaumont. Reporting live, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Mario.